we walk with the water. We we are very pray, we pray for the water, the water that we're carrying. We pray for it. And we pray to it. We we speak to it. We our our minds and our hearts are with the water that we carry the pail, because the water is very precious, and we we we've, we've adopted it. We picked it up from where we where we walked from. We're carrying it from one place to another. When we talk about how we, as, uh, as 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 women, we raise awareness about how how important the water is, and I say we, uh, I talk about women, women in general, and especially the water walkers who who have walked walked with me. There've been a lot of supporters who all over all over Turtle Island. I guess that they've every everybody seems to be a water walker now because they've. They've either participated somehow in water walk, and so when I say we, I, I, I think about them. And our First Nations are the, the Ojibwe's, the Odawas and the Potawatomi's with Three Fires Society that, that I belong to. Because my Indian name is Bidaske, which means one who comes with the light. And my, my clan is the fish clan, Wasisi is the, is the name of the fish that, I, I, that are my clans. As, as Nishnabe people, we have to carry our sovereignty, our work, as as, the, as we have been governed by the Creator. Because we are, we are, when we're brought down, we're brought down by the spirit world, down to the physical world. We're given responsibilities, roles that we have to do. We have to take care of our Mother the Earth, and that's what we're doing now. Is taking care of our Mother the Earth. We have to, especially now, now in this day and age where she is really suffering, she's being polluted, she's being prostituted, she's being sold, you know, she's, all these things that are happening to her, is happening to us women now. And, and so when, when I think about how, how we as women have to start picking up our bundles, we have to really think about how, how important it is that we have to really, really know who we are as, as women, that we're very powerful women. We can be very, you know, very instrumental in how how things are changing. everything and they thought that there was no they didn't think us as human as humans we had our own laws we had our own sovereignty we had our own nations and our sovereignty is taken away by by the white 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 society because they we cannot do what we what we're supposed to be doing the treaties have been broken there were so many treaties that were that were made and they, they broke them the white man broke all the treaties that they, they made with the Nishabe people. cannot 
rely on the white, white people to tell us what to do. We have to start doing our work that we, we have been governed by Creator to, to do these things. So we have to start start doing our, our work in terms of how how we as Nishnabe people have to live, live the way we used to live. We have to take care of the animals. We have to take care of Mother Earth. We have to take care of our, our sovereign duties, which is to take care of everything that, that is there. And for people to understand that's, that's the thing that we have to, to look at the four colors of man, to work together to, to, in order to, to be of one mind, one heart, one mind. That's what we're, we're trying to in this walk because we're all of water. We're all 70% or 80% of water that in our bodies. And that our, you know, everything that we, we see is made of water. So we're all connected with water, we're all united with water.